Sterotite, instructions for use. Sterotite, the container system of choice. The Sterotite rigid container system is available for both pre-vacuum and gravity displacement sterilizers. The perforated bottom containers can also be used with pre-vacuum sterilizers. Pre-vacuum containers with solid bottom cannot be used in gravity displacement sterilizers. The perforated bottom containers have also been validated for sterad sterilization. Whenever a new packaging method is introduced into a healthcare facility, all procedures associated with its use should be carefully evaluated and adapted. Sterotite decontamination. Disassemble all components. Unlatch and remove the lid of the Sterotite rigid container. Inspect the gasket in the lid for accurate fit and undamaged surface. There is no reason to remove the gasket for the cleaning procedure. Remove the tray of instruments and prepare the instruments for decontamination following the recommendations of the instrument manufacturer. Remove the filter retention plate or plates by turning the handle of the locking mechanism clockwise. Inspect the gaskets in each filter plate. Place the filter retention plate in a basket for cleaning. Please note, Sterotite pre-vacuum containers have filters in their lid. The Sterotite container with vented base has filters in both the lid and base. Remove filter or filters and discard. Filters installed on delivery are not meant for the sterilization process. Filters are disposable and limited to single use only. The Sterotype container components should be cleaned in an automatic washer decontaminator. Always use a pH neutral detergent and follow the washer manufacturer's instructions concerning correct use and secure positioning of the items. Caution. Do not use alkaline detergents, as they will oxidize the aluminum of the container. If necessary, you may clean Sterotype container components manually with a soft cloth and a pH neutral detergent. Make sure to remove all detergent agent with a thorough rinsing. Detergent residues can affect coloration and the appearance of the container's surface. Try to avoid water collections by washing and drying the container upside down. Use a soft cloth to dry all components of the container.